and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 7. Last time we left off, we were just entering the Wutai village. It's on the left hand corner of the map. We are going into the next bit of the storyline. So, uh, the last couple of episodes, we've collecting the enemy skills. So, in this one, uh, we're just going on to the bottom right hand of the map near Wutai and where we come off to uh, there's these little critters that you can learn the enemy skill big guard which is potentially just guarding with shell or protect if you're familiar with these type of skills from different final fantasies then you should know what I'm talking about here you can see I've used the manipulate skill to get the enemy here so that I can use the skill big guard against the characters that I need. Short while after this we'll be going back to Wutai later on but first in between that I'm going to be showing you some different spots around the areas. Here we are, you can see that I am shaping up my material a little bit by little. The ones that I want, I keep. The ones that I don't need, I just save for later. And I position them between the different characters. As you can see, this is where we're going to be going next after we've got the keystone. This is the Temple of the Ancients. Now, in this grassy area here, you can see that there's several different enemies. One of them which will cast the berserk on you which will let you only use attack but at a higher strength level next we'll be moving swiftly on to the next place and it'll be another training place hopefully I've uh, bored you enough with different places and we can get on with the story in the next bit and we can finish Wuto off and I'll show you a good training spot and how I leveled up to the levels that I'm at. I'm actually a much, much higher level by this time. Next we're going to go off to the Wutai area which is in the left hand corner of the map. We've been there before in the last episode, if you want to take a look at the last episode you can do to find out where the area is or you can look it up on Google. Here are some of the limit breaks that I've leveled up in the last couple of episodes as I was stating that's what we're going towards so we can slowly build up our material and levels here are some enemies they come up to four or five they're really good for leveling and you get quite a bit of experience and items and AP for your material as you can see it's in the left hand side of the map that's where we are at the moment. What I want to show you is uh, some of the enemies that are here. They're quite easily beaten. A few attacks will li literally kill them. So if you use your magic or anything, it will pretty much kill you. Make sure you've got enough Phoenix Downs for this area. Hypers to help you get your limit breaks up because that's what we want to use to level up. They can poison you or kill you quite easily to start off with so be careful and make sure you get white wind for this area or make sure you've equipped the material cure or cura if you're at this point you should have leveled it up quite far remember to always heal up your characters and to use your tents when you need them to heal up your party members and remember to save all the time so that you don't lose out on content that you've done. Right, I think that's enough leveling. 
I've made sure that Yuffie's ready. Uh, we're going to go and grab the next uh, summoning material uh, by beating the uh, contestants or players on the uh, big tower at the end. This is where you can get your weapons in Wutai. I'm just going to show you around the area if you haven't been here before. This is the shop, so you can buy some hypers, you can buy tranquilizers, tents, others. I wouldn't advise buying others because you can pretty much steal them from anyone. High potions. Remember to save up at all times. This is where we were in the last area. She's going to show you where the Dragoon Lance is, where I got it, if you don't remember. It's up here in this bit. Later on, we need to get the Dragon Scale. We'll get it from someone in an event. That's the item there in the small green box. You get the Dragoon Lance. So next, moving on. There's a few other things we can do now. First, uh, there is an item for red sip here. There's a hidden door here. Go ahead and open it and you can get the hairpin. I've already got it. Next, if we come back out to the beginning, there's an area that we can get to, we can get an item. Just through here, there's all the cats. The cat has moved so you just press A at the back and it'll go upstairs. And you come into the secret room and you can get the HP absorb material. And we can go down and out. And I think we've pretty much covered all of Wutai now. It's just the back area. There is one thing I can show you where to go. If you go down here, there's a Turtles Paradise number six. So if you've got all five and you've got six, I didn't manage to pick all of them up on this run through. I generally was running through quite quickly so that I could get this done at the time. But if you talk to this guy at the bar and you've got all six, he will give you some prizes. They're like uh, HP ups and strength ups. Right, that's that bit. Now we can go to. Uh, the back here we can go and fight the tower let's go so be warned like I said the reason why we were training at the beginning was to make sure Yuffie was strong enough I'm going to show you what it's like to play it without any help how much damage I'm doing at almost level 40. Uh, I'm sticking to attacks, she does quite a lot of attack with uh, the de the death blow material. But she does miss off quite often. He just put a barrier up, the first guy. So uh, magic is usually out of the question. It's probably best to use either a limit break or attack. The death blow or the mug ability, uh, which uh, if you upgrade steel, it will go to mug and it will do an attack as well as steel off them. If you didn't know about that already, remember to keep using white wind. As you can see, he's 
Got a barrier up. There we go. Moving swiftly on, uh, I'm just going to skip through all these battles. So uh, you can enjoy them when you play it yourself. The next ones are a lot easier because you can actually use enemy skill. The first one relatively only the difficult because he puts that barrier up. Can't really use magic or anything. This one's a little bit easier. You got a turbo ever for that one. Next one's relatively easy. Anything can really defeat it. It's probably the easiest one out of all of them. It's about two to three thousand uh, damage. The next one's quite easy. It's the last one that's quite hard. Right, the last battle. Yuffie's father. Let's go! This uh, one heals himself and use poison quite a lot. You can use poison resistance by put poison elemental into defense. Generally, it's because he heals a lot. So it's quite a lot of magic and quite a lot of strength. He's both good at attacking and using magic. He's quite strong. He's got about 4,000 health. He will put the minimize on you. So uh, use enemy skill. Use white wind. It will basically cure you and also cure any status elements. I used the wrong one here. You don't want maiden's kiss. You want the other one. Good for Kana.
And there we go. That's that one done. So that's pretty much the end of Wutai. We get our next summoning material from Yuffie's father. And he tells him Yuffie to go with them. So that is that side story done. And in the next one we will be carrying on with the story and going to the Temple of the Ancients. But first we have to go and get the Keystone. So we'll be going back to the Golden Saucer. And then after that we should be ready to go to the Temple of the Ancients and find out what Sephiroth is up to. So in the next episode we will be going on to more of the story. Now we've got a general feel for the areas where we are. If you want to take a look at the last couple of videos I did go through it in quite a lot of detail of the areas, the surrounding areas, what you can use, the characters. You can pretty much choose different characters now. We're at that stage of the game where it's more of a free roam. Uh, there's quite a bit of story to go through so we're going to try and get through a lot of that in the next couple of episodes so hopefully that will help you out and i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you're new to the channel hit that red subscribe button if you liked it give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and i hope you've all had a good day and i'll see you in the next one